Hi everybody, I'm very excited to share my latest little project with you today and I'm calling it the Woodland Angel and in the kit you're going to get all the materials you need to make the two angels, their halos, their wings, everything. Um, and all of these sticks, um, <laughs> I was able to collect this fall when people were cleaning up their yards. So I've made this kit for you and there's enough sticks here for two sets of wings, which I'm gonna show you how to do. And you will get the basic pattern and that will be in your kit. Now, I want to quickly show you how to go ahead and make these angels. Um, I put my pattern on tracing paper, and you can see here there is kind of a V where the nose is, and I transfer that marking to the face of the angel. And what I am going to do, um, there's a little pencil line. I want it light because I don't want it to show. So I fold on one side of the V and I'm just kind of finger pressing. I have my needle threaded and I've tied a knot in. So I'm gonna come up at the end of the, the pencil line with my needle and then I am going to do what's called whip stitching where you just take a teeny stitch and I'm going over the top. I just want to make a little dent. So I will do that clear to the end of the V then I'm going to fold on the other side and when we're finished um, you can see what the V looks like. And I've put her eyes and mouth on, which I will show you a little bit later. So at that point, you just get the V stitch together. Then you're going to take and put right sides together of your two angel bodies, and you're going to stitch around the whole body and leave an opening that is about four inches on the side of the body. And you wanna do a scant quarter inch. Once you have stitched around, it looks like this. And see, here is my opening right here. You're going to want to clip in the crotch, just barely clip in. And then you'll also want to do that at the neck. Just make a couple clips. Otherwise, this does not want to turn. Now that I have finished clipping and I've stitched around, I'm going to turn the body. And I just start either with the leg or with the head and take and pull the two edges apart and this is my old chopstick that I like to use. And then I'm just going to push this through. And it really is pretty easy to do. So you will just continue doing that with the other leg and with the head. So I'm going to move on from here. And now, um, I have stuffed the body, and then I've taken and I squeeze these seam allowance together, I put pins in, and I whip stitch. Again, just like I did on the face. Then to create the face, um, I use these Micron pens but you just need to have a permanent pen that you use and it needs to have um, a tiny uh, tip on it. Um, and so you're gonna dot the two eyes and then I used red for the mouth. And then to do 
the cheeks, I had some old blush. <laughs> this is really old. I only use it for things like this. But I take a Q-tip and put it on the blush and just kind of circle around. And then I try it out on the paper towel and say, hmm, do I like that? Oh, maybe that is too much. So maybe I want it the second time, which I like that better. So I will do the other little cheek. Okay, so here she is in all her glory with no clothes on. <laughs> so now I want to show you how to make the dress. So I am going to move over to the sewing machine. Okay, you have received a pattern for the dress. And I've gone ahead and put some piecing lines on there, but I can guarantee you will probably make your own up as you go. But this gives you a way to start. The first thing I do is use, uh, find some scrap thin batting, and I cut it the exact size of the pattern for the dress. So here's, here's my dress front. Now, I have this all ready to go. And I have angled the first piece. And here's my second piece I'm going to put up. I lay this on top of the first one. I'm going to lay these aside here. Go to my sewing machine, and I'm going to stitch a quarter inch seam here. And because I'm stitching through the batting, I'm automatically quilting this. And that's why I like this technique, because you have a little dimension. Now the next piece, and I planned these out ahead, but it's going to go here. So now I'm going to lay it here, stitch it, and flip it. And just go on to the bottom. And let's say you think, oh, that's kind of boring. I want to add some interest here. You could cut some little squares or rectangles, sew those together, and I could use these as a strip. So I would put it like this, stitch it, and flip it down. But that changes up the scale a little bit. And I purposely cut this so I had piece and part of packages. I thought that was kind of fun. So that's how you make the dress. Once the dress is made, you're going to take the lining, and you have the dress fabric, the lining fabric, everything in your kit. You're going to stitch. Well, oh, first of all, on your pattern, there are marks here to leave open for the head to come through the dress. And so I put two pins there. So I stitch here, back tack, come to the corner, down, back tack. Do the same on this side. Then I'm going to take and turn the dress to the right side. Oh, clip the corners. Don't want to forget to clip each corner, just the excess fabric out. And then you're just going to turn it. And I, I've gotten so excited about this that I'm making a whole bunch of these to sell. So <laughs> you're seeing different types of bodies, uh, piecing on bodies. And I'll use my turning tool in the corners later, but um, you can see the body and what I've done. So let's now move over so I can show you how to put the angel together and make the wings. So to finish the dress, uh, first of all, you're going to want to go and press the front of your dress and the back of your dress. On this particular dress, um, I dug into my old laces and I have some buttons and things. This is one that I made just like a crazy quilt for a special friend that likes really bright things. So she's going to get this angel for Christmas. But you need to finish this bottom edge. And this is going to be the easiest hemming you have ever done. 
because you just turn it under like almost a half inch. Here's your needle and thread and you're just going to take and um, just take little stitches. I think you can see that pretty good and stitch around the whole hem. So you'll stitch around the back also. Now this one is all, I've already hemmed it. So now she is going to come get her dress on. She's been a little cold today. We're actually supposed to get snow in sisters today. So here she is, she's got her dress on and, but she needs her halo and her wings. Um, I have given you halo pieces in your uh, kit. Uh, one is just kind of regular green color. The other um, has um, kind of some spray snow on it and it's really prickly. And I found that I needed to clip the um, little uh, pine needles off on the inside when I made this one because they're so stiff. But you just... Um, put this together and shape it until it makes a circle. And once you have that circle, you're going to uh, rest it on the back of the head. And once you've got it resting there, and it's hard for me to hold this and show you, then I take um, just some cream colored thread and tack it in place like this. So now I want to show you the, um, the wings. And in your wing kit, you have two, um, I have to grab my scissors here two uh, kinds of sticks. Some are straighter and then some are, uh, these are from my sister's tree. Um, they're more uh, angled. So I'll use these ones that are straighter this time. And what I did was I played around with this idea and found that the popsicle stick worked really good with wire around it to hold the wings in place. So you have also gotten um, pieces of wire in your kit. So I take, um, two or three of these and I bend the wire and I, I put the twigs so that they are halfway in I bent that too soon. And then I really kind of pull it. So once you get that first turn going, it gets a lot easier. And I just pull this around. And I got thinking, well, maybe I could have used a glue gun for these, um, but I'm not sure if it would, you know, hold it or secure it well enough. So it's up to you. I mean, you could try a glue gun if you want. Look at your sticks, and if you have something interesting on the end, like here's where a little branch was cut off, make sure that's on the outside. And now you just butt the next two up to this, and again, I'm going to use my wire here. I was so proud of myself for figuring this out because I kept thinking, okay, at first I was just going to use thread. And then I got the idea that the wire would be much more secure. So this angel um, was, it took a lot of engineering, I guess, was what I would call it. So now I have this nice little set of wings. 
And what you do at this point, um, I've given you uh, little pieces of ribbon and you want to sew the ribbon on so that you can hang these angels. And I sew the ribbon through the dress and the body. So I have a needle threaded up here so I can do that. So I find if I go around this at least twice and I have a double thread and I'm going to tie a double knot. So once I have a long thread, <laughs> twice. So I clip that and then I clip off the bottom of the, the ribbon. But here's the little hanging device. Oh, that didn't clip. There we go. And then I'm going to put the wings on. So I center the wings back here, get another knot in my thread, and I have the wings positioned right where I um, secured the um, ribbon. So they're kind of right on top of that. Make sure your wings um, are centered. And then I'm going to take and uh, take a stitch clear through the body again, because you really, you know, <laughs> well, that was kind of silly. So I just come around going through the body And I continue doing this until I've gone to the far side here. And so then you have your little angel and you get her halo on and there you go. So have fun with this. Um, I certainly had fun coming up with the idea and creating this for you. So thank you. <laughs>